Well, good morning and welcome to coffee and devotion with Pastor Mike. Today is August the 30th, spiritual fruit. For this reason, we also thank God without ceasing. Because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God which also effectively works in you who believe. 1 Thessalonians 2.13 Even though Mark tells us it was not the season for fig trees to bear fruit, Jesus cursed the tree when he found no fruit on it. Mark 11, 13, and 14 This mysterious act of cursing the tree was an illustration of judgment on the Jews for their lack of faith in Jesus as the Messiah. Jesus connected true spiritual life with spiritual fruit on more than one occasion in Matthew 7, 7 and 19 and Matthew 12, 33. There should be fruit associated with faith in Christ, that fruit being a changed life manifested in the good works and righteous behavior. Paul made this connection in his first letter to the Thessalonians. He commended them for having received the word of God, which was effectively working in them. Their works and labor for Christ served as a model for others. 1 Thessalonians 1.3 and 1 Thessalonians 7.10 Is your reception of the word resulting in faith being demonstrated by good works and a changed life? If not, seek to produce spiritual fruit. Peace and blessings.